Okay, so I'm looking at the Spectacle emulator for Android. It's free, um, and I'm using it on my Sony Xperia Z5. Uh, I never sort of used emulators on phones. Um, I thought they would be um, a little bit too... Um, the screens would be a little bit too small. Uh, the games would be difficult to play. The controls would be a bit uh, awkward. But... Um, Sinclair Ferranti did the uh, the review, the in-depth review of um, Spectacle a couple of weeks ago, and it sort of piqued my interest. So I thought I'd check it out and just have a go. So this is just a very, very quick um, look at Spectacle, the Spectrum emulator for Android. It's free from the Google Play Store. Just have a very, very quick look through it and a very quick um, gameplay of it. You're going to see me... Uh, I'm recording the screen of the phone, so you're going to see bits and pieces of uh, when I um, do actions and stuff like that of uh, things going on. Right, so these two sort of like top left corner, these two little lines bring up your menus, and you can go down and you can select um, all the different uh, things that you want from joystick type. You could select um, those options. You can select the machine um, that you want. To emulate, you can see there's quite a lot of uh, spectrums as well as spectrum variants, such as the Timexes and the Pentagons and Scorpions uh, and Spectrum SE. Uh, hang on, let's close that down. You can also sort out your sound uh, however you want it through that option there. And you can, what else is there? Peripherals. I didn't see that one before. Oh, right, okay. You can select uh, all these various different uh, things, such as the on screen keyboard, uh, etc. Uh, and the interface one, interface two, Kempston mouse, Kempston joystick, all those doodles. The top right, you can see we have the keyboard option. If I press that, that brings up. The, uh, the virtual keyboard, um, if I press it again it gets rid of it, and the joypad thing underneath brings up the joypad controls with the, oh, don't know what I'm doing there, uh, so if we go, uh, oh, I thought that was delete, never mind, um, so that's, if we go into, if, so for example if we select Spectrum Plus 2, we then come into the Spectrum Plus 2 uh, loading um, thingamajig. Okay, so very, very quickly, it's a nice little emulator, this one. Just going to play a quick game, see how it goes. We, and the game I'm going to play is Manic Miner. Um, I'm awful at it, so don't, uh, don't laugh at me, please. Okay, so... Here we go, Manic Miner on Spectacle. Now I need to bring up the keyboard here so I can press Enter to start, so let's do that. Oh, and then close it again. So, let's see how I go here. It's very nice music. Uh, very nice red edition of the game, nice and colourful, runs really smoothly. Um, I've read nothing but good things about this um, this emulator. Oh, balls. Oh, sorry. Forgot I was recording. I'm obviously going to fanny around uh, a lot more with the uh, the emulator. It's a bit tricky to control, but that's more me than the, um, than the on-screen uh, controls. Definitely when you get the controls um, right, it, it, it works really well. Um, oh balls, ah, come here, oh, I don't, why did I select Manic Mono, I've always been shit at this game, oh. come on, 
So I'm curious to see how other sort of um, types of game would fare um, with this uh, sort of virtual joystick and virtual sort of jump button. The uh, the red button to the right hand screen is the, oh shit is the um, is the jump button. Uh, I've got to bring up the keyboard again to press enter. Right, am I going to get off Central Cavern? One can but hope. I suppose it's accurate in that um, I'm just as crap at it on uh, this emulator with the virtual key, uh, sorry, virtual controls than I am when I'm playing it normally on a real spectrum with uh, proper controls. So, come on. Come on, you big nose bastard. Yeah, get out of the way. Right. It's not something I can see myself doing all the time, actually, playing Spectrum games on a, a phone screen. I find it a little bit... Um, oh! Oh, dear. Pressure's on now. Ah, come on. No, don't keep jumping up in the air. Jump sideways! Oh, boy! Oh, never mind. Oh, Yeah, it's not something I can see myself doing um, forever. Um, and it's certainly not going to take over sort of like the, the way I, I normally play games. But I am impressed. I'm impressed with the quality of the emulation, the smoothness of it, um, the representation of, of the, you know, the, it, it's nice and crisp. There's no slowdown or lag or anything like that. Um, it's really, really nice. Ah, oh, Do you know, in all my time, I think the first I ever got in Manic Miner has been screen four, I think. Kudos to those people who get all the way through it. But I can certainly see this waste in a... 20 minutes while you're uh, on the train going somewhere. Has he done it? He's done it. He's done it. He's always on home straight. Don't press the jump button now, whatever you do. Go, 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 go. Yes, done it. Ah, forgot about this one. Oh, it's got the crumbly platforms in it. Oh, 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 bugger. Can I do it this way? I don't know. Oh, I'm dead. Uh, bollocks. Right, um, so that was really, really good. I enjoyed that. If you could, um, if you want to, um... Download it, have a give it a try. It's a really, really nice little emulator. Um, thanks ever so much. Goodbye.